लगातार बिगड़ते हालात के बीच इसराइल किस तरीके से रणनीति के तहत इस युद्ध में आगे बढ़ता जा रहा है इस बारे में बातचीत करने के लिए इसराइल सरकार के प्रवक्ता एलॉन लेवी हमें इस वक्त ज्वाइन कर चुके हैं एलॉन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर टाइम टू टीवी नाइन एंड माई वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज रिगार्डिंग करंट सिनारियो हाउ डू यू सी दिस सिचुएशन एट प्रेजेंट Israel is determined to pursue one goal, victory, total victory against Hamas. You know, on the morning of October 7th, the Israeli people were the victims of a terrible crime against humanity, the October 7th massacre when Hamas terrorists murdered 1,400 people, injured over 4,000 people, took more than 200 people hostage. And we're talking about really the, some of the most atrocious barbarities you can imagine, people who were beheaded. whole families that were set on fire children and families that were tortured and mutilated before they were killed and this is the evil that Israel has decided we will destroy Israel's goal in this operation is to destroy Hamas by the end of this war the evil terror organization that perpetrated the atrocities of the 7th of October which have shocked viewers all around the world that organization will no longer exist in the Gaza strip will no longer have an ability to harm Israel citizens we are going right. to pursue total victory over Hamas in order to restore security for the people of Israel let me put the matter of factors it's been more than 2 weeks now and there is a big challenge that we see it's important to reach the people as soon as possible how are the steps taken place as far as the ground operations are concerned Israel is preparing for a ground operation inside the Gaza strip we know that the days ahead are going to be difficult they're going to be hard this war this war that Hamas has forced us into is not going to be easy but we have no choice but to win it now it's important to understand that Israel is not acting here out of anger or out of revenge we're acting out of a strategic necessity and that strategic necessity is victory over the terror organization that perpetrated the atrocities of the 7th of October because we can no longer have this ISIS like genocidal terror state living on our borders so we will move in at a time and a place of our choosing we're not shooting from the hip we will use force judiciously we will use the overwhelming might of the IDF in order to protect the people of Israel so that they can never again be targeted by these sorts of atrocities and crimes against humanity like we saw on October 7th I understand what you said as a necessity as a strategic move also it is important but how do you see your allies your strategic partner America responding to it So Israel at the moment enjoys unprecedented international support around the world. I think this time the world understands it's different and that Israel not only has a right to defend itself but a duty to defend itself and that duty means dismantling Hamas, total victory over Hamas once and for all. We've had leaders from all around the world coming to Israel to pay solidarity visits, to bear witness to the horrors of October 7th from British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak who came to Israel and said that the UK wants Israel to win, to President Biden of the United States coming and saying the United States will make sure that Israel has everything it needs in order to fulfill its mission. of destroying Hamas in response to the October 7th massacre so we feel that support from all the leaders of the free world who understand that the days ahead are going to be difficult they're going to be hard they're going to be long but Israel has no choice now but to destroy Hamas and we know that the free world is behind us understood levy but uh, don't you really think so that there is a sort of a restriction maybe that's not the correct word to say that america is actually focusing on the fact that it should not get more aggravated because the fact is israel is not just only facing up what hamas did you're facing the attacks done by hezbollah israel is facing the attacks that are taking place from the front of lebanon as well president biden's moral and material leadership has been absolutely steadfast from the very first moment he said hamas are isis they're worse than isis their atrocities remind us of the darkest days of the holocaust and the nazi crimes against our people and from the very first moment he said israel will have whatever it needs in order to complete this mission and we know we have the united states behind us now the united states has sent two battle carrier groups into the middle east and the re- the reason for that is to send a message to iran to hezbollah to other regional actors that might be thinking of escalating this conflict of expanding it don't we at the moment want to fight hamas which declared war on us and we are going to win we don't want the conflict to escalate and that's why it's important that the united states is sending that very clear message of deterrence to the iranian regime which is behind hamas saying we do not want this to escalate into a wider conflict now israel does not want to fight on two fronts 
Hezbollah, Hamas's twin sister in Lebanon, has been escalating its attacks against Israeli civilians. They are trying to drag Lebanon into war. And we have been clear, Israel does not want to fight on two fronts against Hamas and Hezbollah at the same time. But if Hezbollah drags us into an all-out war in the north, we're ready to fight that war and we will win that war. We don't want to go there. But if Hezbollah forces us into a war and forces us to defend our people, we will win. This question is important to understand from your point of view, because, you know, the situation that is coming up is not just about Hamas and Hezbollah. My question is regarding Lebanon border that is being used to uh, target Israel. The Yemen, the Houthi rebels, you are aware of the fact that even Pentagon confirmed that they were targeting Israel? Exactly. Israel faces aggression not only from Hamas, but from a regional axis directed from Tehran, from the regime in Iran, which openly says it wants to wipe Israel off the map, it wants to murder all Jews, and that's why it's been flooding the Middle East with weapons to terrorist groups like Hamas in Gaza, like Hezbollah in Lebanon, like the Houthis in Yemen, in order to try to attack the Jewish people and the people of Israel. We know exactly what we are dealing with. We know exactly what we are working against. And that's why it's important that we send that clear message that we do not want to fight on two fronts. But if that we are forced into a war like that, we will fight and we will win. Now, Hezbollah in Lebanon holds about 150,000 rockets and an ability to inflict very serious damage on the Israeli home front. And it's important to understand that Israel will hold the state of Lebanon accountable. Right. Right. for any attacks emanating from its territory and the consequences of that will be severe and it's important to understand that before Lebanon allows Hezbollah to use its territory to attack Israeli citizens. But coming to the end of this conversation, uh, Levi, my question is about people. My question is about the humanitarian aid that is actually on hold at the border areas. No doubt that human humanitarian aid is required within the people in Gaza itself. It is tragic that for the last 16 years, ever since Hamas took over the Gaza Strip in a military coup, they have used that territory to direct terror attacks against Israel and subordinated the civilian population to their goal of building a terror machine against Israel. All these years using humanitarian aid, cement that was meant to go to hospitals, cement that was meant to go to homes, using it to build rockets and uh, military bunkers in order to attack Israel. That situation it's tragic. Now, we've been clear we want humanitarian aid to reach the people of Gaza through the border crossing with Egypt. And indeed, yesterday, 20 trucks went through. If that yeah. is successful, we hope it will be a model of things to come and that the people in the southern Gaza Strip can get humanitarian aid through Egypt. We as Israel have just one condition, which is our right and duty under international law, that that aid must not reach Hamas and that Hamas must not use those humanitarian corridors in order to smuggle more weapons. If Hamas tries to exploit the international community's goodwill in sending food and water and medication to the people of Gaza in order to arm itself, just like it stole fuel from the United Nations a few days ago, just like it converted water yeah. pipes into rockets, mm -hmm. we will stop them. We will not allow Hamas to exploit the international community's goodwill in order to continue attacking our people. You, you are saying it from day one that Israel has been thrown into the war. Never, Israel never wanted to get into a warlike situation. But when it comes to people, is Israel res ready for a dialogue? Israel is going to do whatever it takes in order to destroy the ISIS-like terror organization that okay. perpetrated the massacre of October 7th. We will do everything we can in order to minimize civilian casualties, to get them out of harm's way. Hmm. But our goal now is victory, victory over Hamas. There simply is no room for compromise with a genocidal terror organization that butchered, beheaded, burned people, tortured them, mutilated, blew them limb from limb. These are crimes against humanity on a scale and barbarity that the world has not seen in very many dark years. And there is no room for compromise with these terrorists. And I know that viewers at home and the free world are behind us in this goal okay. of fighting for humanity, really, and destroying Hamas, dismantling it, making sure that it can never, ever hurt our citizens again. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Levy, and thanks for your Thank precious you very time much. to TV9 Bharat. Anytime. Thank you very much.